Welcome. So to evaluate this expression for sine of inverse cosine of square root of 5 over 5, we're going to have to create a right triangle. And remember, the inverse cosine, uh, that represents that you're adjacent over your hypotenuse. So there's two different triangles that I could write where square root of 5 divided by 5. And my two triangles could look something like this. I could have the square root of 5 adjacent over hypotenuse, or I could have the square root of 5 over 5 here, where these, both these distances are square root of 5, a theta. So I could say both of these, these both could represent, because remember the inverse cosine of square root of 5 over 5 means the cosine of what angle is going to equal my adjacent over my hypotenuse. So I have two different triangles. But remember, when we are evaluating the cosine function, the, the inverse cosine function, I'm sorry, we understood that the range of your angle had to be between your first and your second quadrant. Well, this triangle right here, we cannot represent in our first or second quadrant with a theta that's going to serve as our central angle. So therefore, the only triangle that we can construct for the inverse cosine of square root of 5 over 5 is going to be this triangle right here, which therefore would be in our um, uh, first quadrant. So now, to be able to find the opposite side, because since we need to evaluate for sine, which is opposite over hypotenuse, we need to evaluate for the opposite sine. So we're going to use the quadratic formula, or I'm sorry, <laughs> the Pythagorean theorem. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared, or leg squared plus leg squared equals your hypotenuse squared. So we have the square root of 5 squared plus 5 um, plus b squared. Man, I'm just like losing it here plus b squared equals 5 squared. So we have 5 plus b squared equals 25. Subtract 5, we get b squared equals 20 square root. Therefore, b equals plus or minus, and you could say 2 square root of 5. But now if we notice the opposite side, since it's in the first quadrant, we know that it's going to be positive, not negative. Therefore, now evaluating for the sine, we can now get the opposite over hypotenuse, which would be 2 square root of 5 over 5. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you evaluate by using right triangles. Thanks.